Hello friends, today we're going to look at Roop inside of Stable Diffusion where you can take an image like this and get it with a face like this. Or with any face for that matter, you can reproduce any image with any face without any Dream Booth or LoRa training at all. It's just uh, one click away. Let's get started. Oh, and by the way, I'll show you a trick that uh, none of the other guides have. So uh, stick with me for that one. No clickbait, I promise. My wife says my face look funny when I smile. It's something I face every day. So all the links are going to be in the description below. So check that out. So first we're going to get Roop here. And you get that from GitHub. But before that, we need to install some prerequisites. So first, get the Visual Studio here. We're downloading this one, the free one. We're just pressing continue here. And Visual Studio is downloading and installing. And it says here, during the install, make sure to include the Python and C++ packages. So let's just de-check the ones we don't need. And then we're going to add in the Python, desktop C++, and the Visual Studio extension. So let's just install that. All right, after that is finished, it says run this command, pip install inside face. So we're going to copy paste this. We're going to open a command window by pressing the Windows button and typing CMD. And then we're pasting that straight in. And now it's collecting inside face, installing build dependencies. And that's going to be done in just a second or a few minutes. And that took about one and a half minutes for uh, me to complete. Now we are going to go into extensions here. I'm going to check available, load from, and then we're just going to control F and type in Roop. We have it here, but one of the first one. SD Web UI Roop, enable face swapping with reference image. So just press install that. After that is finished, we are going to restart our automatic 1111. So I'm quitting the terminal and starting a new session. As you're restarting automatic 1111 this time around, it will take a little bit longer than usual because you're going to install some root requirements, uh, but that will all be automated. Just uh, know that it will take a little longer than usual. For me, this took about one to two minutes and Stable Fusion has now restarted. See here, we have our second session. And we have Roop here. Now let me show you how Roop works. So let's start with the prompt here. Let's take ballerina dancing. I'm going to change the sampling method to uh, to Mkaris. We're running, let's say, four images here. And let's add some of my styles to fold negative. And let's do the digital oil painting this time around. It's my most used one. And I'm just going to weight this up with control arrow up a little bit. Uh, the styles can be found in the description below. They're free. And now we're just generating four images here to get a starting image that we can use. So we got a couple of weird looking low res images here. However, this one I think we're going to use. So let's take this one and just reuse our seed. So we're getting the same image. So if we would generate this again, we would get the exact same image as you can see here. So this is a perfect example for us to enable the root. Let's take another image that I have generated. I'm going to take this woman here, which is from my um, photorealistic styles. So we're going to drag that one into Roop. And then we're enabling Roop. And we're just keeping everything at default here for now. And then we're generating this again. Now, as this was the first time that we actually used Roop, there was some extra work behind the scenes, so this took a little longer than usual. But as you can see here, our result, while a little low res, is very similar to the image down here. And if we pull them up side by side here, I would say that this is not half bad. It's actually very good. Now the eyes are a little dead in this image, but uh, the likeness is uncanny. Even the eyebrows are... Uh, pretty consistent with the ones we had. So that's super cool and impressive. And this was just a non cherry picked result that you can get basically from the first try. Now let's say that you want to do multiple people. So let's change this into two women in coffee shop, disabling group, getting four images. So we have something to choose from here. Um, let's take this one here with a uh, messed up faces and 
just reuse this seed and we are enabling group here once again. Now, if you press a little comma here and add one, so we have a zero and a one, we're generating again, you should be able to see that both of these women will get the same face. And if we save this again, pull that up, take this, no, that was the wrong one, take this one and our original, I would say it's pretty good. They're all very similar. Now you might ask, what's the point of having an image with two or three or more people where everyone has the same image? For one, could be fun, but wait, there is more. Let me show you that trick I talked about in the beginning. Now I've shown how to work with Roop and get a good result in a very easy way. Now we're gonna delve into something more. Oh, and just a tip, if you wanna do more than one face, it's just add like comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five. Just keep on going. Doesn't matter. So let's say if I keep this at zero and I generate this again, you can see here that if you compare this image to the one that we had previously, so let's get this all out of the way. So the right one here, that's where we used zero comma one. So both of the faces were changed and the left one here we used zero, so only this face was changed with the group and this stayed the same from, well, non group Now let's go into your folder for Automatic 11.11 and find extensions. And then you're gonna find group here and just copy, control C and control V, copy paste that, change this to group two. And then you're gonna restart your stable diffusion. So quit the terminal window, the command window and the start the web UI user again. So now we're back in here. And as you can see, we have one group here, but also one group here. So now let me show you something cool. Let's do again, two women in coffee shop, re-adding the styles and generating four images. Let's take this one here, we're using that seed, changing to one image. And then for the first group here, I'm gonna use our image from before. And then we're gonna use the second group here. I'm gonna add another face. It's gonna take this old man from the 8K tiles video. I'm gonna change this to one. Let's make sure that both of these are enabled. And let's generate again. And with our result here now, we have our face, the woman here to the left and a weird looking man to the right. So that's a very cool way to add multiple faces inside of Roop and Stable Fusion. I bet you didn't know that one. And if you did, great work. So I hope you enjoyed this little guide on uh, Roop. I had some great fun with this extension. It's really powerful. And uh, I think I'm gonna be using it a lot in the future. If you enjoyed this content, like and subscribe. I'm not your boss, do whatever you want. As always, have a good one. See ya.